And welcome to our December edition of Sports Highlights. Happy Holidays. My name is Greg Picabaris. Our program since February of 1992. It airs on Mondays at 7 a.m., 2 p.m., and 7 p.m. Weekends at 9 a.m. on Cox Cable 47, 517. And for more, log on to nnpstv.com, at Sports Highlight, at Greg Big on Twitter. All about students on this first segment, Morgan Merritt, Lauren Satchel, Julia Cook, all making it happen on set. Mitchfield Field Hockey players, how are you? Good. 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 Thank you. Let's start off with Morgan. Morgan, how did you get involved in field hockey? Um, when I was younger, my brother grew up with a lot of girls who played field hockey. And so, you know, they came over to my house a lot and they just got me involved in the game. And I started playing rec, especially with these two, with Mystic Waves. And that's where it all began. So you are kind of besties. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very good. Lauren, how about you? Um, my mom actually played at Mary Baldwin. So she was my coach for Mystic Waves for all of us. And um, I just had an interest in it and started playing. So. Julia? I, same thing with Morgan. I had like I had older, older girls in my neighborhood that played, and then um, I just started playing with them. And then I wasn't too good at field, so I joined goalie, and like that's how I've played goalie ever since. So, talk about the, this past season. You made the postseason. How would you characterize it? It was really exciting, especially since Mitchell has never been to state. So, making history at our school and setting that benchmark for future teams is a really great thing to do. Was it more pressure? Did you feel in the regionals in the state? Um, I would say so. We had a younger team this year with a bunch of freshmen, but they came in and played awesome, so I was really proud of our team. And what position did you play? I played goalie. Very good. So. Now, we talked about how hard that ball is. Yeah. It's, not a, it's not a Nerf ball. Talk <laughs> about it and how is, you get it more than anybody. Yeah, so I mean, with all the gear on and stuff, they all think it's like fun and games and like they really hit and like, I mean, I can take it, like I'm fine with it, but like sometimes you get to a spot where like, there's barely any padding or like it's like really thin and it like, it stings a little bit. I mean, but I have bruises to prove it, but I mean, I love the sport, so it's really I've gotten used to it. Talk about the equipment a typical girl wears for, as far as protective equipment for field hockey. In high school, you have to wear goggles and always like a mouth guard, shin guards, because Getting hit in <laughs> those places is going to hurt. So, and Lauren, you've gotten hit before, right? Oh, plenty of times. <laughs> yeah. uh, when you recommend field hockey for an incoming freshman girl, what would you recommend? I guess just you know, playing safe, um, trying new things. Because a lot of girls, when they first start playing, they're not they're afraid to try yeah. to get better. And you right. know, with our JV team, I try to tell them like, don't be afraid to make mistakes and practice in games. Cause this is where you have to learn. And the JV team did really good this year. I think they won most of their games as a, like as a group for like yeah. a JV team at Minchville. So it was really good. But let's talk about that. It's kind of a unique situation where the head coach and the JV coach are sisters, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, talk about your head coach. What did you like about her the most? Um, well, I love my coach. She's awesome. She's always has like a positive attitude towards us, and she always gives us like the encouragement to try new things and do our best. So. And like the determination, like if we want, our goal was states this year, and we went to states, and she gave us the pieces to get there, and she helped us, and then at the end of it, we she couldn't have been more proud of us, and I think that all in all, like as with her pushing us, that really made us go as far as we did. And one of our team things is accountability, so she's really good with not, you know, some coaches are really nice and just say, oh, okay, it's your fine, but she will, of course, be a little discipline us and make mm -hmm. sure we're yeah. doing everything right, and I think it's not a bad thing. It, it challenges us, and I think it makes it more fun. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Coach Kai Kendall. Yes. yes. Right, y'all call her Coach K. Yes. yes. All right, for you, young lady, you won several awards. Talk about your yes. awards for the public that doesn't know about it. Um, for the past three years, I've gotten District Player of the Year, past two years, Regional Player of the Year, um, I think. All state three times, first team, all region, all district. So, she's a goalie. I'm a forward. Yeah, I play forward. midfielder. The forwards usually like in soccer, they're the ones who score a lot. It's the same way, kind of in field hockey. Yes, sir. <laughs> right. When you talk about some of y'all's opponents that gave you a tough time in the district, who were they? Gloucester, Gloucester. Mari, Nansen yeah. River. 
Yeah, what was it about Gloucester? Kind of a rivalry there. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's so there are the Newport New Schools are rivalries for you? <laughs> like we have a rivalry with Warwick and everything because it's like a, like a Minshall thing. So it's like more Minshall Warwick are like kind of butt heads all the time. But Gloucester's like for field hockey, Gloucester's right. our school. Now talk about the time and the rules. Like uh, how long does a typical match last for? Oh, an hour. Yeah. But as far as their time limit? No, not really. Because if, if it's tied by the end of the game, we go into overtime 7v7. And if still no one scored, 7v7 again. And then we go into 8 seconds, 10 seconds. Very nice. We're talking to Morgan Merritt, Lauren Satchel, Julia Cook, senior, junior, and junior, of course. When you talk about uh, field hockey as a sport, you just don't show up the day before practice and expect to have your game won. It's something you kind of do year round, yeah. isn't it? Yes. yes. We'll talk about what you do after the season's over. Um, well, I play club, so a lot of the girls on the team play club to improve their skills and keep in shape and keep the skills up. So, and also during the summer, we condition, so we're usually doing something year round. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? Um, we actually, we all play the same travel team together, so when we're not playing with Central, we do that and other sports, so. Same thing, I'm on, we're a, on the same travel team and most of like the girls on the travel team are, are a part of Mitchell Field Hockey as well. Look, y'all made the state, congratulations. Thank the you. team yeah. bonding is very important, whether it's football, basketball, cheerleading, baseball, soccer. What did you enjoy about your team and how many years did you play on the team? I think not only like has it made me into a better player, but I made so many friendships, like especially these two. Like I've gotten yeah. so close to people over the like, past four years that, um, it's just normal for me to hang out. We all always hang out together outside of school, even outside of season. So. Right. Y'all kind of like go to, out to eat together, and yeah. Yeah. shop all together, do all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, as far as, um, you know, you mentioned the bonding, it's important because a lot of it's communication mm -hmm. on the game. And if y'all mm -hmm. know each other and y'all are friends, that makes yeah. it easier on game day, right? Yeah, yes. it does. How about the school support and your parents' support? Parent support is phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, with like the school support too, with our principals and like all the administration is really like, it's like you know it's a home. Like with parent support, like at the games and everything, it's it's just they're always yeah, involved. They're always there. Does that make you feel better when you have a, a packed yeah. house? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we love looking at sidelines and seeing our teachers and administrators Friends and stuff supporting always, us, yeah. Yeah. and they're yeah. into it. It's not like they're just there; like they're it's cheering us on, staying the whole time. Making awesome. trips out to away games to see us play. Sure. Yeah. And it makes you feel good, makes you smile. And yeah. of course, uh, yeah. you know, younger girls are watching you guys too mm -hmm. as well. And as far as uh, when you talk about your future plans, talk about JMU. Actually, today I just signed with JMU, so I'll play there for the next four years and hopefully. Breaking it right yeah. here, folks, for the December show. We got Morgan Merritt breaking it right <laughs> here with Sports Highlights. She is going to be a JMU Duke. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> of course, take it easy when you play. George Mason, if you play them, <laughs> that's where I went to school. But uh, you, you're a junior. You're a junior. What are you, have you thought about college already? Um, yes, sir. I'm actually also committed to play at James Madison University. Okay. So. And their uniforms are pretty similar to Menchville's, right? Yeah, yeah. Purple, purple all the same though. colors. So. <laughs> it's only a few hours away. And yeah. Nice ski resorts there as well. How about you, Julia? Um, I'm not committed anywhere yet, but I am looking. Right. You want to go too far away from home. Right? <laughs> uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> right. Well, let's talk about uh, what do you like to do for fun away from field hockey? Yeah, there's a lot. I mean, we also do track, which I know it's yeah. like more sports, but yeah. Um, yeah. I feel like our life like revolves around sports. But It does. How about you? Um, I do like other clubs, like Young Life and stuff and track. Yeah. So. Very nice. I, did, I do tennis, and then I also like do Young Life and other clubs. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. All right, how do y'all balance academics? athletics, activities, and each one of you tell us your GPA. Oh, my GPA is a 4.12. Wow. And then um, our coaches are so like supportive. They know that academics come first, and they understand if we have to stay after for like a study thing or a test, like they're completely un like, understanding. Uh, my GPA is a 3.7, and our coaches, like she said, understand like if we have things after school, but teachers are always there to help us with after school. Um, activities and stuff and they understand if we have to come late because they want us to be involved into our schools so yeah my GB is a 3.4 um, with like field hockey and stuff like with traveling with coach K with like on bus rides there like we do homework or it's like if at practice or before practice we like sit sometimes if we have time mm -hmm. in her room and do it especially right so. does it easy uh, does it make it easier to the computer is available for you? Like, do y'all do a lot of work when you're on the road on your laptop or your iPad? Talk about how you do it on the road. Yeah. I have an online class, so I do live on my laptop or just looking at my phone, reading books or something. Yeah. 
sometimes I just like look ahead to see what I have and I bring that stuff with me. So. Right, and the main thing is y'all are having fun, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, right, that's good. <laughs> all right, cool, well, all the best. Uh, give us your final record for the year. Um, you, had, you had a winning record, of course. Yeah. And who did y'all end up losing to in the States? Um, lost. Deep, deep uh, Run, we lost to in the States. Yeah. Right, right, but uh, you had to travel a little bit there, too, as well. Yes, yeah. so. we did. Mm -hmm. Right, that was not easy to travel, but y'all did good. Congratulations, you Thank made your you. school proud for being in the state. Very few schools ever make the state, and all three of y'all should be proud, as well as your teammates and your coaches, yeah. and your parents, too. All right, I want to thank Morgan Merritt, Lauren Satchel, Julia Cook, excellent Mitchfield field hockey players, all have great GPAs, <laughs> and they all represented their school very well for our December holiday edition. And as Morgan said, she's going to be going to James Madison. She broke it right here on Sports Highlights. Stay tuned. And welcome back to our second segment of Sports Highlights, our December show. Glad you're with us at Greg Bacon on Twitter at Sports Highlight. Hope you enjoyed our Mitchfield Field Hockey players. This is our December holiday 2018 edition. Happy holidays to everybody. Let's welcome now Dorian Hart. He's a Woodside head boys volleyball coach. Good to see you. All right, thank you. How did you get involved in volleyball? Uh, well, it all started out back in 2007. Um, I was actually previously coaching the girls JV basketball team. Um, and our athletic director at the time, Al Dorner, um, kind of liked what he saw, you know, how I worked with the girls. Um, I was able to encourage and motivate. Um, and then an opening came available uh, with the volleyball team. I told him I would do it on a, a one-year basis till he could find another coach. Um, I hadn't had any prior volleyball experience, and neither as a player nor a coach. Um, so I came on as one year, and you know, here we are 12 years later. Goodness. haven't been able to give it up. So. It seems like volleyball, some of the uh, Olympic sports are less stressful than football and basketball. Is that true? Uh, that's true. Yeah, I would agree with that. Um, as far as, well, it has its give and takes. I mean, as far as conditioning goes, I mean, we just obviously want to focus on a different skill set. You know, maybe not as much, you know, weight room, but, you know, we still focus a lot on plyometrics, got to strengthen them legs, um, a lot of flexibility in the arms, strengthen the shoulders. Um, so, you know, it, it has its differences. Talk about your team, uh, some of the tough competition you had this year, and of course you made the postseason. Uh, yes, we did. This year, Warwick was the team to beat. Um, typically, Woodside's at the top. Uh, we've been at the top. We we're accustomed to being at the top. Uh, we've been down the last couple years, but this year was a bounce back year for us. Uh, Warwick won. We finished uh, tied for second in the district with Heritage um, at a 13-3 and three, uh, district record. Uh, we qualified for the postseason as a six seed, ultimately lost to a, a decent grass field team, uh, three games to one. Do you like playing teams from both sides of the water? Uh, definitely, especially with this new conference alignment. Um, that kind of changed a lot of things for our program. Um, being able to see them in the regular season uh, helps us out for the postseason. Um, unfortunately, being conference six for Woodside, uh, we don't see any of the teams in the Peninsula District come to playoff time. Unlike other schools, conference five, conference four, there's a lot of schools that they get to see, potentially see again in the playoffs. Uh, pretty much, you know, we play our regular season against district opponents. And then when the playoffs come, we're playing the Chesapeake's, the Virginia Beaches. Um, so we try to get them in during the regular season if we can, either play them in some form of a jamboree or um, summer tournament. Uh, so we try to see them when we can. It just takes some time to get across the bridge tunnel, right? Uh, de def <laughs> definitely. Yeah. yeah, especially depending on what day of the week it is. Yeah, both right. bridges can be an issue, yes. We're talking to Dorian Hart. He's the Woodside head boys volleyball coach. Coached a lot of different sports at Woodside. Who stood out this year? Some of the players that you stood out. Our key was uh, Tyler Makikau. Uh, he's a junior. Um, I've had him uh, two years in the program. Um, last year he had the potential to be very good, but he was one of those, um, and I would tell him he's, he's a practice player. He looked like an All-American at practice, and he was just okay in the games. So before the season started, I made it very clear what we needed from him, what the expectations were, if we were going to be successful. And um, he was arguably the best player in the district this year. Uh, he brought it every night. 
And, um, you know, the results showed. And uh, next year, you know, watch out. Yeah, Woodside made the uh, postseason in football, of course, uh, losing to Lansdowne. And, of course, you guys made the uh, postseason. Who did you end up losing to? Uh, we ended up losing to Grassfield. Um, so we ended up playing the first round. We uh, had to travel to them. Um, but it was a good experience for the boys. We did not make the postseason last year. Right. So, you know, we were able to build off of that for this year. And, um, you know, next year we have uh, high expectations next year. Right. You only coach one sport now. Uh, now I do. Um, I actually coached JV girls basketball for nine years um, under the tutelage of Mike Talon. Um, I also coached uh, JV softball uh, for six years, again, with Mike Talon. And now I'm entering uh, year 12 with volleyball. Um, so You're your own boss now. Yeah, yeah, pretty, yeah, pretty very much, nice. Yeah. Of course, you got a brand new athletic director, of course, uh, Paul Macklin. Paul Macklin, yes, uh, he's adjusted well. Uh, he came in second semester of last school year. Um, you know, just kind of you know feeling things out. Um, he's been working really hard. Uh, he's kept himself in the building, just um, you know, just coming accustomed to the Woodside way and how we do things. So. Right. Of course, uh, you're part of the Woodside way, and Paul is an excellent pedigree. Of course, his brother played for Penn State yes. as well. So uh, yeah. you're talking to, of course, the Colts, too, talking to Dorian Hart. What advice would you give a kid that wants to play volleyball, boy or girl? Uh, well, I, first off, I would encourage them to play multiple sports. Don't get locked in on just one sport. Um, and a lot of kids get that mentality, and I was guilty of that coming up in high school, too. You know, I'm going to play this sport in college, so let me just stick with that sport. But there's a lot of data out that suggests playing multiple sports actually helps you in, in every sport. Yeah. Is, you know, there's different things you work on that can be applied. Um, keep an open mind. Um, you know, if you're not involved in a fall sport, obviously it conflicts with football. Um, I've had a handful of guys every year on the football team that could help us on the volleyball team, but obviously we had a conflict there as far as the seasons go. Um, but if you're not playing a fall sport, get out there. Volleyball is a great sport. It's fun. Um, it's intense. And um, I mean, what better sport is there where you can hit the ball off someone's face and it'd be considered a good, you know, <laughs> good thing as far right. as a kill goes. What about your background in high school and college? Uh, high school, I'm, I'm local. Um, I went to Denby for two years and then Woodside was built. Uh, I was give the, given the option of uh, staying at Denby or going to Woodside. You know, first year, everything's new. Be the first with every first graduating class. So I mm -hmm. went to Denby, uh, excuse me, went to Woodside where I played uh, basketball under Craig Davis for two years. Mm -hmm. Played a year of football under Bob Smith. Um, went on to college. Uh, again, mainly just intramural route um, through ODU. Uh, graduated health and phys ed major from ODU. And then I uh, got the phone call uh, to come back to Woodside. So it was a no-brainer for me to accept that position. That's home for you. Of course, Bob Schmidt coached football at Denby and Woodside both. He was the coach before Danny Dawson Correct. was. Correct. Woodside's got a great athletic program. I mean, the football team is always good. The basketball team's won state championships Correct. before. It's on the rise. Yes, definitely, definitely. Um, across the board, and I attribute that to our administration. Um, I attribute that to our athletic directors from the past, and Paul is going to continue that. You know, we have high expectations from all our coaches and all our student athletes. Right. Talking to Dorian Hart, as far as the future, how do you train the girls to prepare during the off season? Because, like I was telling the field hockey girls before you came on, you can't just show up before practice the day before. You can't do that for basketball or football either. Uh, correct. So with my boys, be it that with the new um, VHSO rules where you can go year round, um, it's it's a blessing and a curse from a sense. Um, I've had a lot of boys that have played soccer and baseball, which is obviously during the springtime. So it's you know right before the fall is getting ready to start. So a lot of times I don't get my boys until the summer. Um, I've had a few boys that play basketball. Obviously they're not available in the winter season as well. But um, you know, those that want to be in the gym, I'll find gym space and we'll get in there and we'll just work on some fundamentals and you know until everyone's able to join us in the summer at the conclusion of the spring season. And volleyball's popular in the summer and the Olympics as well. Oh, it's it's huge. It's huge. And a lot of kids don't realize that. Volleyball, it's a great, exciting sport. Um, I've never played, but I'm a, I'm a fan of all sports. Um, but once I started coaching, you know, I developed a new love for it. And, um, you know, I encourage every kid I see in the hallway that I feel could benefit us that's not playing a sport, you know, come on out, you know, and I'll teach you what you need to know to be you know, be productive. Very good. Dorian, thank you for your uh, time, your talent, and your treasure about uh, volleyball. All the best to the Wolverines of the future. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Dorian Hart right there. Stay tuned for our next guest right here, Johnny Orlando on Sports Highlights.
Unleash Your Fitness with Alexis. Tune in weekdays 6.30 a.m., Mondays 7.30 a.m., 2.30 p.m., and 7.30 p.m. And welcome to our December edition of Sports Highlights. Glad you're with us. Hope you enjoyed our Mitchfield field hockey players, as well as the Woodside head boys volleyball coach, Greg Bickaveras. Glad you're with us since February of 1992, at Greg Bick on Twitter, at Sports Highlight. It's a pleasure now to interview Johnny Orlando, who's a J-Stock Hydra Racer. Johnny, good to see you. How are you? Um, I'm actually doing good today. Very good, very good. Tell us about your age and what grade you're in. Um, I'm 12 year old. I go to Greenbrier Middle School and I'm in seventh grade. Very nice, very nice. Well, how did you get involved in powerboat racing? I first went to the Hampton Roads Regatta when I was a tiny little baby when my grandfather took me. He's been going since he was a small child. And then just last year, two years ago actually, excuse me, two years ago, we went to see if we can get a ride in one of the bigger boats because some of them have two different seats. But then they didn't have enough to run the passenger riding. So we went to this lady that was a part of the learning school where she teaches little young kids to drive boats. And my grandfather talked to them without telling our parents. He only told me. And then we started um, to get a J-Stock boat to race tomorrow. Well, your grandfather, he's a big Red Sox fan, right? Yeah. He loves the Red Sox. All right, me well, how, how serious are you about this sport? Um, I think I'm pretty serious about this sport. I think I'm going to do three to four races every year. Wow, okay. Well, what are your goals for next year? My goals for next year are, win, are to win three to four races and also the Hampton Roads Regatta. Is it kind of overwhelming to be in the water? And are you by yourself on the boat or are there some other body with you as well? So I am by myself on the boat and it is pretty stressful to be on the boat by yourself when your first time in your first lap, but then after that, it's all just a breeze. And they interviewed you this past uh, September mm -hmm. at the uh, regatta too, correctly? Yes, yeah, but you were talking about uh, your parents and how much support you've gotten from uh, your family and stuff. When you uh, practice, how often do you practice? Um, I don't practice too much, but I do practice a little bit in the um, Northern Virginia with my dad. Very nice. What advice would you give to other kids that want to do this? If you're a kid and you want to do this, just you can do anything in the world you want to do. You just have to keep your mindset to it. That's unbelievable. And what is, uh, as far as uh, other sports you like to play, and you also like to play music too. Mm -hmm. Talk about what else you like to do besides uh, powerboat racing. So I do wrestle. I'm a captain on the wrestling team this year. I'm a cellist in the Greenbrier Middle School Orchestra, and I also surf. You have a busy day. Your day starts mm -hmm. early and it ends late sometimes, right? Yes. I, I take it you like your school? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, I do. Very good. What is your favorite subject? My favorite subject is probably history. I like just all the facts and it's cut and dry and there's nothing like to defy against it. The straight, straight facts. What mm -hmm. part of history do you like the most? Is there a certain time frame you like? I like World War II. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Of course, 1939 to 1945. And you talk about uh, being in the water. It must be a very liberating, nice feeling to be out there in the fresh air and the water. You must love that. Yes, I do. The feeling when the salty air hits your face when you're going really fast in the race boat when you forgot to flip your visor down, it just feels so good. Right. Talk about some of your hobbies away from sports and uh, music. So I do play Yu-Gi-Oh! And I don't play too many video games. I study a lot also. Right. You mentioned your grandfather and you are both Red mm -hmm. Sox fans. They've won a lot lately, haven't they? They won the series. Yeah. What do you like about them the most? Um, I like Mookie Betts. He's my, one of my role models. Very nice, very nice. So, with all the, your busy schedule, being a young kid, and, and how do you balance academics, athletics, and activities? Well, recently, cello and wrestling have been running into each other, so we had a compromise, and I had to do 30 minutes of orchestra and the rest with wrestling. Very nice, very nice. So it's not always easy. Some days are mm -hmm. better than others. But uh, what do you enjoy the most? Do you enjoy the music or do you enjoy the hydro racing? Over music, I enjoy hydro racing. But I think I enjoy wrestling the most. What about what? Uh, talk about what uh, a certain weight you wrestle, or how does it work? I wrestle 86 pounds. Mm -hmm. Last year I wrestled 74. Right, and of course uh, you have uh, mentors that have helped you in, yes. in sports. Talk about some of your mentors. My grandfather is mainly my mentor. He wrestled when he was a kid. He's really the backbone of our family. Right. Well, you talk about uh, 
family, how important it is to have that support. Does it make you feel better when you have your family there supporting you and it does. Makes, you, makes you feel better? Because like I said, when you're on a boat in the water all by yourself, it's kind of you and your thoughts and you have to have good positive thoughts, right? Yes. You know, when you talk about that. Well, as far as um, the future, you mentioned high school. What high school do you plan on going to? I plan on getting in the STEM Academy and going to Grassfield High School. But if I do not get into that academy, I'll be going to Indian River High School. What do you know about the STEM Academy? Well, I want to be an aerospace engineer when I grow up. And I do a lot of STEM camps and robotics camps. That's a lot of fun. Talk about what you enjoy about that the most as far as the engineering. What do you enjoy the most? So I really like making the rockets mm -hmm. the most. And I really like making robots and doing battle bots too. Have you made a lot yourself? Um, I've made a lot of rockets, but I've only made two battle bots. Okay, cool, cool. How'd you get um, involved in that, and what made you interested in that? Do you like? You must like math and science mm -hmm. both. I like history the most. Though. But you do, okay. So, yeah. But um, that's kind of like that's that's. There's taking math and science to do that though. That's not easy. So you must have some love for it. So I got into um, aeronautics by. I think my mom, she really wanted me to do this space camp, and then I was like, yeah, I think I really do want to do this. And then I went to it one year, and after that, I really wanted to go to it again and again and again. Mm -hmm. So it's all fun. That's the key. It's a lot of Long fun. driving fun, that's the main thing. And, of course, your mom Ashley's here in the studio today. And we appreciate it, Johnny. Thank you for coming on the show, and all the best. And uh, you gave some good advice for the younger kids, and keep on keeping on, right? Mm -hmm. Right. All right. Very good. That's Johnny Orlando right there, folks. He's a young kid. J Stock Hydra racer. Some people never get in the boat or in the water. Here he is, seventh grade, getting in the boat in the water by himself. So that's a good holiday segment, good way to end the show. I want to thank our great guests today, Morgan Merritt, Lauren Satchel, Julia Cook, Dorian Hart, and of course, Johnny Orlando. For Ray Price, the entire great crew, I'm Greg Bicaveras. Thanks for watching our December show. Happy holidays, and we'll talk to you soon.